Hi everyone, I'm Alain Provo from Solid Expert. The Solid Experience Group is happy to present you the Tips, tips and Tricks series. So I was uh, um, the one to uh, talk about the uh, digital manufacturing uh, series that uh, we're going to have and I'm going to present you the three uh, following uh, topics. So our first topic is going to be about MBD. So let's jump into our presentation of our next product. Um, so we're going to talk about MBD. Yes, SOLIDWORKS MBD. Why? Because for me, the logical uh, follow-up of doing the uh, uh, 3D uh, model inside SOLIDWORKS is to go towards the manufacturing and the information of the manufacturing. Sometimes we do drawings and, well, <laughs> humoristically talking, uh, some errors can happen because I'm not in the head of the guy who did the drawing. Sometimes I can see things differently than him. So basically what we need to, to understand is that with MBD, instead of reading a flat 2D drawing, we now have all the manufacturing information inside a 3D live model that can even highlight the information that I want to see. So that's a lot easier to use. Plus, it's very easy to do MBD with the expert on a SOLIDWORKS model, but you can also do it on a step that comes from a supplier, let's say. So that's a great way to uh, uh, use the uh, automatism of MBD inside even your uh, suppliers or uh, collaborate. Um, there are many, many options inside MBD. It's gonna be a, a, a really introduction of MBD we're gonna do, but it's for you to know that the product exists and so inside that product, we have so many tools to make everything much more easier to understand. Like 3D views, cuts, we can transfer the information into 3D PDFs, stuff like that, to make everything a lot more easier, a lot more eco-friendly. Also, because if you want to go paperless, this is a great way to do it. Plus, it will recognize so many functions automatically that it will simplify the way you do the dimensioning on your part. So everything in there is, is built so that you save time. Um, plus the collaborative part of MBD with eDrawing makes everything much more smoother when you use that because eDrawing will see everything you did in MBD and um, everybody that uses eDrawing uh, have an easy way of seeing those information. The highlights of uh, the dimension works also in MBD, so it's, it's really a great way to collaborate. And just to see a little bit how you can use it, well, on parts, assemblies, uh, yes, even exploded uh, models with uh, the exploded lines will be available inside MBD, so why not plunge into it and try it, um, you'll see it's a great way to, uh, to bring the information to the next level. So before we go inside SOLIDWORKS for real, we're going to be, um, we're going to be uh, doing a little bit of the uh, um, scanning of the idea of using uh, MVD inside your SOLIDWORKS. Um, so this is the model we're going to be using. Um, I hope I will be seeing you for the next two chapter of the MBD and we'll see what happens with SOLIDWORKS MBD at the next one. Thank you for listening. See you next time.